Good evening, and welcome to our, what is this, our fourth show? Well, I lost track. You lost, well, yeah, I'm taking the third show. That's okay. <laughs> we'll start marking your fingers from now. There you go. One, two, three. But anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and this is a live interactive call-in show on Can TV Channel 21. Thank you very much again, Can TV. My name is Lester Fortier, the current president of Chicagoland Motorcycle Toys for Task Parade. Next to me in the middle here is our parade coordinator, Jim Finello. And next to him is our phone guy, slash producer. Director producer. Who is now, uh, <laughs> he'll be help to keep conversations going when we have a lull in the conversation during our interview process. Did I say that right? Can you do that? Sure, okay, I don't know. Cool. That's cool. Uh -huh. That's I'll keep things rolling. Rolling, rolling. And uh, don't worry about if you can, call in and ask us questions. And our phone number is what? 312-738-1060. We are waiting to hear from you. That's right. And I'm going to see how many days away from this parade is. First, a little disclaimer. The reason we do this show each and every week, besides the obvious, <laughs> <laughs> the city of Chicago requires that we let the city of Chicago know that we're coming through down Western Avenue on the first Sunday of December. And one of the ways of doing it is by having this TV show. show. That's right. The highest rated show, I believe. And uh, we got to let everybody know. Along with that, we uh, mail out letters to all the businesses and homes along the route. We talk to the aldermen, the churches, and stuff like that. We put posters up everywhere to let them know. And uh, I think we do a pretty good job of letting them know. And we electronic do science. And electronic science. And we'd you also know. like to use this show to uh, encourage everybody to come and volunteer and spend some time with us and to join that parade. That's right. We now I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Finello. He's our parade coordinator. Exactly what do you do, sir? Well, for many, many years, uh, I'm a rolling blocker. I ride down Western and we keep the traffic away from the bikes and we try to get everyone down in a safe manner from the south side to the north side. And uh, with that said, I'd, How like do you do that? I'd like to thank the Chicago Police Department for all their help. We could not do it without them these days. And there's so many other people that help us. Uh, but everybody that puts toys in a toy box or rides in the parade and donates a toy, that is our blood. Without those people donating, we would not be here. And uh, I just, there's so many people to thank. I could spend the whole hour, no, half absolutely. hour doing it. That's yeah, right. We have a lot of wonderful people in the organization helping out, Our giving their time. Members. Yep. In the club. All the, everybody coming to ride with us, all the businesses around town, they give us support. Outstanding. But what does this organization do to ensure that they're safe going down Western? I'm trying to let everybody know exactly what you're responsible for. When you see that safe and clear procession going down Western Avenue, it doesn't have it by itself. Well, right? and it, I've been using the R word a lot this year. The respect that the community, the biker community, the, the aldermen, the police, everybody realizes that, you know, it's not a day to be a clown. Uh, we all stay in twos. We are as orderly as we possibly could be. And the, the, it's so heartwarming just to see tens of thousands of people all realizing that, you know, the cause is here and we're here for the cause. And uh, the day of our parade, just to see those thousands and thousands of bikes going down Western Avenue and everybody staying in twos and the traffic being pretty much uh, comfortable with us getting by. And uh, I thank everybody for changing their schedules that day and, and giving us the time to get our job done. And uh, by having all those toys, the stories I could tell you, I could make you cry in a minute, the, the kids are so grateful. There's so many needy kids that, that you guys just couldn't imagine. And us being able to help them, you being able to help us, and us all helping them, it is one of the most heartwarming things you could ever imagine. And uh, I'd like to thank you all. It's wonderful. Uh, John Reagan, to his right, your left I guess, I don't know how that works, has been a, uh, you've been an elf with this organization, you've run with Santa Claus, you... Yes, man. A very heartwarming experience, I'm uh, you know, very thankful to Santa for having allowed me to, to go with, uh, to see the, to the looks on the children's faces, we go to many social agencies, uh, 
uh, schools and such as well uh, to give some of these kids the toys to see their looks on the on their faces is extremely heartwarming. You, 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 it's a feeling you can't uh, you can't you can't buy it. No, right? you absolutely can't. But anyway, Jim over here, Finello, is our parade coordinator. His first year on our board. Uh, he's been a basically a tier five leader, I would say, when we had one. Or tier four, yeah, tier five, six. And we would not be able to raise all these toys and uh, uh, get the word out about this organization if it wasn't for our parade coordinator who coordinates to make sure we have all those signs along Western Avenue, coordinates with the City of Chicago Police Departments, coordinates with the bus companies to make sure we alter their routes, to make sure we have a safe progression of our parade. And of course, talking to all the police, not counting all of our rolling blockers and our stationary blockers. We could not be done without that. Well, Absolutely. Those are some very... I'm not trying to overwhelm you or nothing, but I'm just... No, no, you know, no. I, brag I, about what you do, because that's, that's very important. David. I'd like to elaborate on that a little bit. Uh, a lot of people think that you have to have a, a motorcycle to join Toys for Tots. In fact, we need all the motorcycles we can. If you've got a bike, we would love you to join and be a rolling blocker. But the bus companies, the Mustang, the car and uh, van clubs, there's so many people that donate a bait, that donate their membership to us the day of the parade. And there's literally just, just hundreds of streets that need to be covered. And the uh, Chicago, Chicago Police Department does a fantastic job for us on the main streets. But there's little, you know, uh, subway and little stores that are on the line that uh, we need people, you know, and we're... we're we're always looking for uh, motorcycle riders or non-motorcycle riders. Yes, yeah, so you don't need to be on a bike. We've got lots of uh, positions you can volunteer for to help. Everything from sending out mailings to uh, put up the, the posters on Western Avenue uh, the week or two before the parade, intersection blockers. Whatever time you could give up to this organization, trust me, we will find a good use for it. Right. You know what I mean? It doesn't have right. to be 10 hours, 5 hours. Give us an hour. Give us a half an hour. That's right. You can come Pick up a phone. Help us out. Let us help someone else. Yep. Can anybody call in and tell us how many days until our parade? <laughs> hint, hint, Jack Voss. No, I want to see if you can get somebody to call <laughs> in. <laughs> Obviously, most of our people that watch this show don't have a phone. I'm just finding that out now. Well, uh, <laughs> give us a call at 312-738-1060. We'd like to get a question from you and answer that question. It can be whatever comes to your mind. You may know the answer, but somebody else may have that same question on their mind and not know the answer. We will help somebody else out that way. And again, Lester Fortier, the president, Mr. Finello, our parade coordinator, John Reagan, huge support for this television show. And on the phone tonight would be Gary Diamond. Gary Diamond. That is his real name. I checked. It's not a stage name. Okay. Saying that, let's go on our website for a moment. Anybody want to call and tell us how many days? Guess not. Okay, not a problem. There I'm are 48, 48 days <laughs> until our parade. <laughs> Thank you. 48 days until our parade. We do have a meeting on Friday, October 19th on the south side, 5850 South, excuse me, 5858 South Archer Avenue. And on Monday, there'll be one on the other side of the city, where most of your Cub fans live. That'll be on uh, October 22nd at 7 p.m. at the River Park Moose Lodge. Okay? Become a member. And both of those get-togethers are really uh, a, a gathering of nice people. Absolutely. You know, we've got a few rough people, but for the most part, they're so friendly. And, uh, and they're all nice. Yeah, all you, good. You can't. You the can't only reason they're rough because they haven't met you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's be positive. If we don't, here, here's a good picture of this. This is what this man's going to do down Western Avenue. Okay. It's all going to look like that. And let Correct. me say this: I, you, last year, I just stood and watched for over a half an hour, and. Everybody, I mean, you know, the, the, the older guys keep the new guys in line, and everybody understands that we have to be orderly in order to stay and to be so big. You know, it's not a day for you to be the star, but it's a day for you to be the number. And the numbers come out, and we really do have a great time. And all of the other uh, establishments that support uh, uh, us afterwards, that uh, take care of us, you know, a lot of people are tired and thirsty. And uh, 
the, the people, the food that they put out for us, and uh, it's really a nice time. There are many parties all over, out. many parties all over town celebrating the fact that this parade occurred that day. People, people bringing their toys with them to those establishments who can't make it to the, uh, to the parade itself. That's yeah. right. We have uh, toy boxes out, which should be coming out with our posters at our next general meeting. I was hoping uh, there'd be a few more establishments. I put the word out today. If any of the well, we haven't passed them out yet. I haven't talked to our vice president about it. Have uh, tuned into us today. Uh, please call in. Again, that number, Gary. Three one two seven three eight ten sixty. My name's John. 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 <laughs> I guess you had the best setup. Oh no, you got your glasses on. That's there you go. That's right. I'm the only one actually wearing them. <laughs> okay. Here's a little bit of what goes on at our meetings prior to the run. This is from last year. People are asking questions. At Arturo, Tier 2 leader, that's me talking on a microphone looking at a piece of paper. This is Hot Dog. He does something else that day. And this is Doc Joe, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Correct? He gives us a little uh, briefly what to do in case something were to happen during the parade. Talks about uh, if you get too cold, stuff like right. that. Right. General um, safety. Protect yourself yeah. against the, the, the weather and the do's and general don'ts. first aid. And he is, in fact, a doctor, a real one. Yes, he is. And he's one of Santa's uh, 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 right hand elf. Yes. Yes, he is. Your people sitting down because we're getting older. So you, you must get younger. This is where the parade starts Dan Ryan Woods. Okay. 87th and Western. 83rd and Western, right around 83rd there. 83rd and Western. Pull in there. You see lots of signs. You see all the bikes lined up inside getting ready to leave. Wrapped all the way around it. It's amazing. There's Peggy. She got to work on her shyness. <laughs> yes. There I am being interviewed sure, by a I've heard reporter. <laughs> WGN. I must remember that. There's a former president, Santo. I just saw him last night, actually. Where? I don't know. See? Here is a... <laughs> Say again? Howdy. Do we have a phone call? Do we have a phone call? I wonder who it is. Howdy, gentlemen. Howdy. You're very quiet. How are we doing today, sir? Oh, you got your glasses. Good. You're good. doing good. How's everybody? Doing wonderful, Jack. <laughs> good. You know what I did yesterday? I was on a Toys for Tots motorcycle parade. Really? In Kankakee. Cool. I was part of the Kankakee Toys for Tots motorcycle parade. Oh, well, that's fantastic. And Not as good as ours, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Did they raise a lot of toys? Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, it was a good time. And uh, I wanted to remind everybody about our website, ChicagolandTFT.org. O -R -G. All your uh, questions about the parade are probably answered there. We have a list of our future meetings. We have a uh, way to request toys if you're so uh, inclined and a new thing we just added today is we have now a link to our online store well it's not a store sir it's more of a donation collection site right to uh, if you make a donation you can get some nice parade uh, memorabilia and uh, go to our website and on the menu at the very top of each page, click on Parade Shop Online, and you'll be directed to that area. And uh, that's the latest thing on our website, and uh, that's all I've got. <laughs> and we got 48 days, correct? Right, correct. That's going to go by awfully fast, people. Do you count that down every day? Yes, sir. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> yeah, we used to have an automatic one, but I don't know how to do that, so I do it manually. <laughs> oh, is that another triumph over there? Go back a little bit. Is it? I can't. Let's get the... I can't. Well, I can't what a fantastic call, Jack. Thank talk. you very much, Jack. Appreciate it. And again, that website is www.chicagolandtft.org. Correct. All right, we're going to show some parade pic. Now, Jack does everything on this website, puts the pictures up and everything. You do a great job. Thank you. No, well, that's Springer front end. Well, I'd like to say that uh, I know that they put a lot of work into the new uh, web uh, product and donation site. And if you guys got time, go and take a look at the uh, presentation that they've spent a lot of time putting back together. Uh, we tried to be a little more professional. 
and uh, I hope I haven't seen it myself because it was just up today. But uh, I do believe that uh, they have a new uh, a new level. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Right now, we got to be concerned about the parade and getting ready. And that is a triumph, by the way. Yes. It, looked, it looked like it because the way the exhaust was coming up, I couldn't yeah. see the engine. The shadows. I, I can hardly see from over here. <laughs> the shadow. I wonder who does, who's on that channel. Come back there. Was that? Did we see a shadow over there? No, the one shadow more? on the bike kept you from oh, seeing oh, the motor. Yeah. No, the, 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 one, one, one more scroll up. There's a guy in the shadow right in there. And I, oh, maybe there's a couple. Well, got by. I must have had a personal in tune with it. <laughs> I know you're on here somewhere. It's right. Come up here. That's what, it was a picture of me. With, here we are going on, down uh, Weston Avenue, people. I expect to see that. We break. Tell us about the parade itself. We break how many groups, how do we separate it, and all that kind of stuff. That's why we have this show, too. Well, we line everybody up in tiers. Uh, it's up to What's the Chicago tier? Police Department. In the woods, there are... Uh, what time do you guys start this thing? Oh, yeah. In the morning. What time <laughs> 9.30. We went back to 9.30 this year. Thank you, Alderman Mintz, Alderman Riborius, and Alderman Lopez. If not for them, we would, would still be starting at 8.30, which is a bit dangerous for the black guys. It's going to be cold that day. Yeah. So we must really thank again Alderman Mitz, Alderman Riborius, and Alderman Lopez. Thank you, guys, if you're watching. And the mayor and all the other aldermen also for having enough respect and trust in us to let us do this every year with uh, without being... Uh, yes, thank you to the entire city council for the support. Yes. Plain and simple. Yes. Yes, I, I have to keep going on about the respect and the uh, admiration that we have for them and the respect and admiration that we get ourselves. Uh, it, it really is heartwarming. Well, we, we try to put on a good show, and uh, it certainly is definitely. Yeah. We so will. we will, we do. We work hard at it. The woods is broken into different parking lots, okay. and each parking area we designate as a tier. And then, of course, the parade is so big, we fall onto Western, and we go down. We line them up down 87th, and uh, it really does. Uh, we really do have a great turnout every year. We we are so blessed. Approximately how many bikes per tier? Well, that you're putting your foot in your mouth there, John, because everybody has an argument. I can tell you what the numbers well, I'm are. I, don't, I myself don't know. I'm, I'm the, the asking you. Personally, I think it's between 2,500 and what, 4,000, something like that. Depends how they're spread. Right, right. Most of the the, 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 the smaller tiers are about 2,000. We have a 4,000 bike tier and a 6,000 wow. bike tier. tier but the woods proper, I think, can only hold about, what, eight to 10,000, I think? Oh uh, no! Yeah, it's a little more than ten. It's about uh, two, four, six, and uh, it's uh, it would be sixteen, sixteen thousand. Because and as the as the parade empties out of the woods, people are still coming in to refill. Oh yeah, they're they're lined up all over. Because we can't just let them go. We got to slow them down a little bit, otherwise. And I they're lined up problem. everywhere to join. We haven't had the tier uh, meeting yet, but I know from the past that, and of course. You know, if you get up early and you get your bike all ready and you get your toys on there and you decorate it and you get in the front of the parade, they really don't want you to cut in, you know. Oh. And so... No, uh, you're too nice. It, do not, I repeat, do not cut in. Do You'll not be asked cut to leave the front of the parade. If you cause any kind of havoc inside this parade, you will be prosecuted. And if the people that are working the parade, if someone were to cut in, whatever you do, do not stop the parade. Live with it until they leave. They usually do anyway after a while. Well, in, Correct? in the back Can't of the stop. parade, we, we encourage people to get their butts in and get their toys down to the north side. Uh, is that bad for me to say that, Lester? Not at all. But as long as you yeah. let your tier people know. Right. And tier four. and Including and, and, the police that begin and end it so they know what's going on. Right, and maybe we should, we'll bring this up and, and I'm going to, after the tier meeting and I officially get everybody's exact uh, needs and what they want to do, but I know for a fact that tier four and five, once the big, once the front of the parade has gone down, we welcome everybody, we tell everybody, let's go, get in line and get your toys up and get counted, be counted. You know, so we're if, the parade. we want you, we want, we want parade. the numbers, we want to, we want to be big, we want everyone to know that. And ask yourself this: There's only four million people in Chicago. There's How many? Four million. There's over ten million in Cook County. You well, can't just Cook talk County. about. Cook well, okay. County. Well, anyways, the point I'm making is there's 27 million in San Francisco and LA on the West Coast, and our parade's way bigger than their parade, and we're in the winter. 
<laughs> so I just say that we are we are the we've got the biggest hearts here in Chicago. Well, we're questioning that. We are the biggest yep. parade in the universe, man. That's why you're different. We uh, yep. Guinness Book of <laughs> World's Records. We're the biggest parade. So I'm just saying that. Uh, we really do have the numbers, and we encourage the numbers. And uh, myself, I, I'm I'm from the back of the parade, and I'll pull up and say, "Hey, if you're going, get going. Let's go, let's go, let's go." You know, we want to have the numbers counted. And then I like to see, and I hate to say this, but when they're throwing those toys, and you know, when we're collecting the toys, and God bless those people. I don't know if you've ever thrown toys up in a semi, you know, you hand them up to the person that's in the truck. You can only hand up toys so long. <laughs> Man, those people work very, very hard. I mean, we got to work on relieving them. They, they, but uh, they, they, uh, one thing we got to talk about, too, at the end of the tier, there's usually a truck of some sort or a station wagon or a fire truck, and you'd be amazed how many people are giving us toys that are standing watching the parade to make sure it got. Gets a lot of generous example. people in the Chicago land area. And it's usually in Thank the worst, you you know, and not such the. It always seems like the worst the neighborhood. The more they give, I don't know if you mm -hmm. noticed that or not, but I am. But anyway, Jim's going to do his job, and this is what it's going to look like when we end. Look how many thousands of motorcycles are in there. Okay. Now, one thing we should work on, if we can, I know a lot of people drop off their toys. Uh, prior to getting in the parade because they're not going to finish, and I understand it, but we still seem to let an awful lot of motorcycles in without a toy strapped to the back of the bike. How can we address that? And if anybody out there wants to give us a, a, a little advice or comment on that statement I just made, feel free to call in. Would you agree? Our, our preference is, if some people meet it and, and you know, they ride in a group over to, to the parade and they often leave the, the toys with the well, wherever their uh, rally point is, bring those toys with. We want them on the bikes in the parade. We like to see them on the bike in the parade. We like, we love to see the bikes decorated up, piled up with the with the toys. And you know, we, we're gonna ask our cameramen to to get those pictures and put them up on the web and celebrate the generosity of the people of the city. But we do not charge anyone to participate in our parade. And Jim just does part of it with the parade itself on Western Avenue, that's his job. But the entire organization, we meet with the city, we meet with the police departments, we uh, have these meetings to make sure we know what we're doing. We have this television show. And again, we don't charge anybody to participate, okay? What we do charge them is to give us an unwrapped toy. Can we ask for that toy so that we can give that toy to deserving little girls and now, boys. Now granted, I'm, we're not going to say you can't come in and pray you ain't got no toy because you might have give 10 toys at your right. local establishment in a toy box. Right, course. exactly. And a lot of people, and you know, I understand if you don't want to ride, I, I say this to our volunteers, you know, we don't demand you do anything that you don't have time to do. You know, if you have time to help us, we love you, come out and help us. If you don't have time and you just want to take a ride in the parade, we love you for that too. Uh, some people, what they do is they drop their toy off at the beginning of the parade and then they just get in and they ride for a little while. Maybe you're not an uh, uh, experienced biker, you're a novice, and you don't feel comfortable driving all the way to the north side and coming back. We're not trying to push anybody into something that they're not comfortable to do. We want you to ride at the level that you feel safe at. And uh, but if Good advice, very good advice. Yeah. If you're able to ride and, and you want to enjoy yourself, Go up to the north side. It's really a good time up there. We have product. We've got the toy bus. We've Santa got Santa Claus will make an appearance. Santa Claus is up there. It really is something in its and, own. And you're probably guaranteed a free cup of hot chocolate, perhaps more. <laughs> yeah. And if you smile, you get uh, the marshmallows. 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 Love the marshmallows. You, you cannot have the hot chocolate <laughs> without marshmallows. <laughs> we do not have any mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it really is a, a fantastic time. And it, the same thing with the meetings. The North Side meetings are fantastic. You know, you would think that there are so many nice people on the South Side. How could they have so many nice people on the North Side, too? But it really is. You go up to the North Side, there's some nice people up there. You're going to have a good time. And honestly, I mean, I'm not saying that the South Side has been cutting us short because it's so there's places that are unbeatable on the south side. We're all Chicagoans. But the north side people, there's so many people up there that we didn't have, uh, and th th we've had north side meetings for a long time, but we haven't had them for the 41 years that we had no, the we south haven't. side. Actually, it was kind of like my idea. They have their own kickoff party. They have their own, you know what I mean? My right, it's, it's the 10 years they've been having it. 
and they do have so many people up there that are trying to catch up. Okay, one last thing. It's time to go, I assume. I thank you so much for everything you've done for this organization that you've done in the past and in the future. And this picture I'm going to leave you with was taken, I think, last year by someone along the route. Okay? I want you guys to look at this. And again, thank you, Chicago. That's a wonderful picture. That's what it's all about. Thank you to CAN-TV. Yes. Thank, thank you, Thank you, CAN-TV.